You alright, man? Yeah, man? What's the problem? Skin thing. This is the problem. This is how you generate the punt in the close range with power. A lot of time you practice a lot of things, but everything will be happen like this. What's going on? Boom, like this. And when you punch, you you have to use body like this to go into the do the damage. Now, how to generate this kind of movement with power? Put the bare thing the finger on. So yeah. So you when you start to practice with this kind of thing here, you get used to learn to have uh, in that ring. Because remember the basic rules that I talked about all the time when you're working with this kind of thing here. You have to try on what you do and do exactly that. If I got a problem with him like this, I will, I will be like this. See my hand is here, my body is here, like this. It's exactly the same way as I hold his hand and I punch him. I have in this range here. Now if I'm here, okay, I can punch it like this very easily. If he have his hand in hand like this here, I can punch it like this. So the body, waist, movement, all this movement here have to be pushed together like this. Okay, so the idea to get the movement on the waist is coming in hand, waist, because you try to attack it in a vulnerable spot like silver player, <laughs> like this. Okay, so you practice like this, like this, like this. So get your whole body in line like that. So when you call somebody, it's easier. Have your hand here and then you attack. Have your hand like this, and then you attack. And then you attack, okay? Or you're in contact, okay? Then you make an attack. So a lot of time, when you have this hand like this, in contact, then like this, like this. So your hand and your body together with the weight, like this. At the same as you're doing this to the person, you have the hand like this, and then you like this to them, okay? So your weight together. Hmm. Like this, to able to deal with them, to give some power of them. So when you hear you're attacking this kind of movement here, then you create some power. Boom, the movement easier. Okay, figure that. So that's a very basic and simple how to generate power from the close range. To train in that kind of movement here, you have to train exactly the way you're gonna use it, so you can able to do it. Otherwise, you can stand there. Yeah, you're using this on your way, but because there's no action, no movement that you contact, then when you get contact, your body will change. Then you can't re using any power of that. Is that answer the question for you? If you like this kind of thing here, then subscribe to me here before your enemy learn to get some power out of the hand, and they're gonna bust you up. And if you like this kind of thing here, take in the course and then come and train with me, and then I will be able to show you everything you need to learn into the course and if you want to ask me any more questions about anything else then asking me then I'll be right there to helping you to answer all your questions. Spend some time to practice. I will see you on the next lesson.